Yo, what's up guys, Shujiki Dink here with another video to entertain or assist you in becoming the better Mortal Kombat player. And this video is all about Interactables. And it's brought to you by Patreon, actually. Everyone on Patreon that supported me, they get, uh, I got two videos a week. They got Bonehawk Tuesday, where it's usually just like a high level set, or uh, I go over matchups or something like that. And then every Thursday, they get Tips and Tricks Thursday. And this Thursday, I made a video about uh, Interactables and how to use them all better and some kind of like the hidden ways to use interactables. Um, but I wanted to give you guys a tip here as well that I gave them. Um, and it's about making yourself invulnerable because a lot of people may or may not know that the uh, the interactables actually give you like invincibility frames for a second. And that's something that's really cool. So it can kind of help you get out gaps and strings or pressure or something like that if you time it right and everything. Um, and I don't really see anyone in tournaments or anything super taking advantage of it every once in a while you'll see it but there's so many so many times where people are getting zoned out and they just don't really know how to do it so I'm going to show you exactly how it works against Sub-Zero hopefully I'll get it first time but we'll see <laughs> because the timing is a little bit strict on it so we do this and he's going to respond and there you go I use the invulnerability frames at the exact certain time so that not only do I not take the ice ball, but I take no damage. This works for physical attacks as well. Um, you have to be aware of the active frames on it though. Because it is a little bit tricky to time and there's not too many frames on it. You kind of have to time it almost perfectly. Well, there you go. So that's uh, that's a little trick. It doesn't only work on these ones, it works on, it works on all of them too. Um, the reason that the jumpy ones work a little bit better is because you're up and out of there better. You know, the the startup frames are a little bit better, so um, you, you can do it with the throwing ones, you can do it with the um, with the corner ones as well. Every every uh, interactable in the game. I'm not certain if the invulnerability frames change depending on the interactable you're using, um, so just be aware of that. But uh, I know that they exist on all of them in some form or another, so uh, you can also armor it too, but this is a way that you can save the meter from it and still kind of move around. Great for characters that uh, struggle against zoning and stuff like that. So, yeah, just wanted to share that with you guys there. I uh, hope you found that information helpful. You'll be getting another video today as well. Um, I'm off work today, so usually on Wednesdays I try and catch up with some videos, or record a couple for a couple days just in case I don't get a chance to actually record again. So, anyways, that's it for this video. If you liked it, please subscribe. And uh, if you're interested in more videos like that, check out the Patreon as well. Uh, support like that helps me out a lot. I just bought a new fan for my computer to stop my CPU from overheating. <laughs> uh, thanks to the uh, supporters on Patreon. So, Anyways, hashtag Bonehawks and all that stuff, and we will see all you guys in the next video.